Hello everyone, it's Ron Grant coming to you live and direct from Tortola in the Virgin Islands. You are watching 284 Media. Thank you so much for your time. I want to take this opportunity to wish each and every one of you a happy Monday. This weekend, November 24th to the 26th, all roads lead, and I mean every single road there is, whether it's a badge, a plane, a sailboat, all bo boats lead to uh, Anagata Lobster Fest. I'm joined today by the events manager at the BVI Tourist Board, who is spearheading, of course, the BVI Lobster Fest, the one and only Dirk Walters. It's an event that we have grown to appreciate and love. It's a staple in our tourism product, and we are so appreciative that we can still celebrate the beauty that is the BVI Lobster Fest. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break. Some claim that the age of a true gentleman is far behind us, but here at 284 Media, we disagree. He may appear in different guises today, but the values and ideals that make him a gent still stand. 284 Media proudly presents The Art of a Distinguished Gentleman with yours truly, Ron Grant, a show poised to help guide modern day men into 21st century distinguished gentlemen. Don't worry, it's not all about suits and bow ties, but raw, real life lessons that translate to grounded, community minded, well rounded men. The Art of a Distinguished Gentleman, Season 5. A two eight four media production. The push was to understand whatever we need in the second district, or whatever we need, even in the Virgin Islands. We have the capacity, we have the resources, we have the knowledge. We have to improve our primary health care. What we have seen over the years, anybody could tell you this, we have seen a decline in the level of primary health care, that is the clinics. I think party politics. Mm political agendas after April the 24th should have been put aside. How do you move government resources? How do you better understand the system? How do you get your piece in there first and so on to make sure that you get the most? Folks will hear things about what we have in mind to get done for the district uh, very soon. The government who is responsible for all of these policies and programs, they're the ones who really have, they have the handle of all, for all of these things. We saw the challenges in terms of how those funds were being misused and mismanaged. And we need to ensure that we have a transparent system in place to ensure that persons who need help are able to get help. We are not going to be able to attract the kind of investment that I just talked about, that you and I just talked about, in terms of new money and new business, unless we clean this country up. This fall, we're bringing you closer to the heart of democracy. Introducing Just for the Record, First 100 Days. We asked elected members of the House of Assembly of the Virgin Islands to account for their actions, successes, and shortfalls at this significant milestone since they're swearing in. Find out starting Thursday, November 2nd at 8 p.m. Just for the Record, First 100 Days, exclusively on 284 Media. Catch all the action from the 2023 NFL games with CCT Live on various channels, including ESPN Channel 412, ESPN2 Channel 413, Telemundo Channel 315, and Fox Channel 304. When you subscribe to any CCT Fire Plan, you'll automatically bundle CCT Live. For more information, visit your nearest CCT store or give us a call at 444-4444. Choose CCT Live and enhance your game day experience. Welcome back, everyone, and thank you so much for your time. As promised, I am joined by the one and only Dirk Walters, events manager at the BVI Tourist Board and Film Commission. Uh, Mr. Walters, thank you for your time, and welcome back to our studios. Thank you for having me again. Always elated to be here with you, Ron. Indeed. As I mentioned, uh, 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 Dirk, all roads lead to Anigara Lobster Fest. I mean, badges, boots, speed boots. All roads, all skies, How However everything. you get there, <laughs> <laughs> the people of the region, uh, yes. by extension the region, are asked to yes. come out and support. We are now in our 11th year. That's when right. you reflect on the journey of the BVI Lobster Fest, the Anagata Lobster Fest that has really become a staple in our community. We have a number, uh, this year particularly, we have a record number of uh, restaurants and vendors Correct. who are gonna be participating. What is your thought process on, on what this event has become for the Virgin Islands? It's just really amazing, you know, and it's just to see what we can really accomplish when the community comes together, all the different businesses and the relevant stakeholders, because Anigara Lasta Festival is a national event at this yes, point. Yes, indeed, indeed. You know, and it means so much 
to you know the residents and the business persons over in Anigar and we just be really happy to be in our 11th year and make it happen. Indeed. So as I mentioned, we're in an 11th year, as you mm -hmm. said, and we have a record number of restaurants and vendors. Uh, how Correct. many How many is that? We have a record number of 12 participating restaurants in the Anigata Lapsa Festival this year, and we have various vendors as well because they're also various establishments that aren't exactly restaurants, Correct. you know. But they want to participate. They want to be a part of it, you know. So we have 12 restaurants and we have other persons involved, persons that have bars and barbecue pits and things yes. like that. And we have a lot of vendors. We've had various meetings with the stakeholders over there and the whole business community um, over the previous months, being engaged with them. And it's been really great, you know, like staying in touch with them, yes. being on the ground in the trenches with them and visiting all the different businesses and hearing their stories. And it's just really great to hear so many persons look forward to it and what they've been able to accomplish and to grow their businesses. It's really a great feeling when you get to touch these persons and hear their experiences like that. Yeah. Well, I have been a fan and, and a, a patron of the Anigata Lobster Fest for a number of years. And of course, one of the things that I look forward to because I do eat lobster mm -hmm. uh, is eating lobster. But there's some persons who may not eat, eat lobster and that's absolutely fine. That's fine. Um, I, I want to talk about how we're going to get there. Tell us about transportation and the different methods of getting over to Anigata. Okay, definitely we can get to Anigata either by sea or by air, of course. So there are flights going over to Anigala with Fly BVI. Um, they have a flyer out, um, I think it's $70 one way and $90 round trip. Yes. And of course we have the various ferry companies and barges running from Tortola, Joost van Dijk, and Virgin Garda. I know Speedies has ferries, boat rides, and even from both Virgin Garda and Trellis Baby Island. And then we have Ocean Dreams. Yes. They're leaving from the USVI. So they're leaving from both um, Red Hook and St. Thomas and St. John. And a new addition I just saw added New Horizon Ferry Services has a ferry that's leaving from US Van Dyke. You can head straight over. So that's really amazing, you know? Incredible. Now we have a lot going on. You have an opportunity to stop at the different uh, restaurants yes. and vendors. Uh, tell us about the passport um, mechanism <laughs> where you get to literally stamp uh, your passport in Anigata and we have some prizes as well. Oh, definitely. So the big grand, we have a big grand prize that's going to be, you enter to win the grand prize this year. So once you visit seven or more establishments participating in restaurants there on Anigata. When you get there, we're going to have a welcome bag for you. I wouldn't give anything away what's in it right yes. now, but you're going to be greeted by the Tourist Board and Film Commission staff, of course. And when you go to the participating restaurants, you're going to get a stamp on the card. So once you get seven or more, you can just fill it out, the card, your name, your email address and phone number, and you will be entered for the chance to win two round trip tickets between the BVI and Miami, Florida. Incredible, incredible. Yes. And who, we can't pass that up at all. That's an can't opportunity, pass it up. of course. That, that's sponsored by TravelWise Limited. So all we right. want to thank TravelWise for that generous sponsor. I'm glad you mentioned uh, TravelWise. Uh, do you have any other contributing sponsors, of course, apart from the government of the Virgin Islands and the BVI Tourist Board and Film Commission? Okay, well, no, well, basically, you know, of course, it's the government of the Virgin Islands, Tour, BVI Tourist Board Film Commission, TravelWise is the sponsor of the prize, okay. but the various establishments have their own sponsors on board as well, you know, so they would mention them in their relevant media. Understood. One of the things, uh, Durkee, that I appreciate about uh, this event, it is the beginning of the BVI Food, Food Fet, Fet 2023 uh, 2024. Yes. All right. Uh, as we have discussed before, this is no longer just a month or two. This is an entire year of events. Yes. So the Anagata Lobster Fest is the beginning of the culmination of this event. Uh, tell me about what persons can expect uh, for this entire year moving forward. Well, as you, as you mentioned, Ron, you know, we're going to spread it out through the entire year. So this is just a kickoff. Yeah. Anigata Lavasa Festival is just a kickoff, starting off. And from Anigata, we head over to beautiful Yost Van Dyke. Indeed. Because we have that event in the entire months of January and February called Yost Lime and Dine. So we're going to be headed to Yost Van Dyke every Saturday in the month of January, you're going to be able to take the ferry. Usually after the six o'clock ferry goes, there's That's no ferry it. coming yeah. back over. So we actually engage with the ferry company. So every Saturday in January, you're going to be able to come back over in the night. So if you want to have, have dinner, you want to go over there and just hang out, boss a little lime, as of we course, say, yeah. you're yeah, going to yeah. be able to do that. And then in February, we step it up even more because 
on Wednesdays and Saturdays, we're going to have the same thing. Incredible, incredible. Yeah, so that's an awesome way for us to get to patronize all the different restaurants and bars. You know, usually sometimes even persons that live here, reside on Tortola of Virgin Garden, may only go over for a few hours yeah. on a weekend. So we're going to step it up on National Care to the next level and, for your And we're spreading a vibe all over the Virgin Islands, of course. Exactly. With the BVI Food Fest, of course, beginning viewers with the Anagala Lobster Fest, November 24th to the 26th. Once again, I have been a patron of this event and I totally always enjoy myself. Whether you eat lobster or not, it is a total vibe, a total experience, local bands, local restaurants, and local vendors, making sure that you have an amazing experience and spreading the beauty that is Anagata to the rest of the world. November 24th to 26th, make sure, as we said, all roads lead to Anigata Lapsa Fest. Not all roads, uh, by land or sea, <laughs> and of course the sky. Uh, make sure you go over to the Anigata Lapsa Fest. Adurki, uh, I want to thank you so much, and we are looking forward to a safe and incident-free and enjoyable event. So Most I'll see, definitely. I'll see you on Anigata. See you there. All right, viewers, thank that's you. all the time we have. Bye-bye.